So let's set up a, a simple, simple document in Publisher. Let me just switch so you can see my uh, screen here. I'm just going to launch Affinity Publisher. And the first thing I'm going to do is set up a new document. So I'll just go to File, New. Um, now you see there's various options uh, here of what sort of document you want to create. You've got various presets, of course, you can choose from for standard page sizes. Um, you also have the ability to create facing pages. So you can either have uh, horizontal facing pages or vertical um, facing pages. For this document, I want horizontal. and also want to start on the right, um, and I'll show you what that means in a second. You can choose what colour space you want to work in. I'll leave this at CMYK. Um, and here you can also set, if you want to set custom dimensions for your, for your document, you can do it here. And in fact, for me, I'm going to do a landscape document um, and I'm going to make this 300 by uh, 240. You also have the option to include margins if you wish. Uh, I'm actually going to turn those, um, turn those off and then um, I'll click OK. Now the first thing that you'll notice is the Pages tab on the left-hand side. So you can see here I've got uh, one page set up. It's my first page of my document. So let's add some more pages here. I'll just add pages. Um, I'm going to add another uh, 11 pages to this. So it will kind of create a 12-page a uh, brochure. So you can see all of my pages now on the left-hand side. Because I set this up as facing pages, and also to start on the right, what that means is, is that my first page is a right-hand page. And if, in effect, if this was a brochure, this would be my front cover. Um, and then I've got all of my inside spreads uh, to cover the other pages through to page 11. And then, of course, page 12 is, my, uh, is, the, is the back cover of my brochure. Um, at any time, you can see on the, on the uh, context toolbar here, you've got options to uh, alter the document setup. So I can go in here and change, for example, the color space, uh, whether or not I want it to be facing pages or not, etc. And I can also adjust my spread setup too, um, to, to, to sort of change the page size um, and what have you. So, you can always adjust those settings after you've started a new document, but that's the basics of how you get a new document started.